Hi, today we're going to have fun. We're going to cook a pork butt in the Dutch oven. I have my 12 inch deep, deep Dutch oven here and uh, we're going to make pulled pork. But what I did is I seared it on the stove or if you, you want you can sear it in the Dutch oven. And we put some, uh, this is some sweet onion, some garlic and I sprinkled a little thyme on there. And then I have some mustard. We'll just put some mustard on the pork butt and I have paprika, salt, and pepper, and I got all three tabs open on this cool little shaker thing, so I can just kind of do this, and it'll get all three of them on there, but I'm going to cook this, I think it'll take about eight hours, we want to get it up to like 205 degrees, and so, we'll go like this, and then I'm just going to put it in here to get this other side, yeah, this is going to work great, oh, look at that, it's looking good already. But the first hour, I, I think I'm going to cook it at a high heat, and then after that, I'll lower it. So I think I'll cook it maybe around 400 degrees for an hour, and then we're going to drop it to like 225, I think, or 250. We'll just kind of see how it goes. And we'll, uh, with the briquettes, the briquette life, they last about an hour, so every hour we'll check it and then, and then put, put new coals on. But I got my coals outside getting ready. We're camping in the Uintas. We came up last night and it actually snowed. Can you see some, show them some snow out there, Jenny. Can you see any out there? But it snowed last night and the first day of summer. Mm, it melted quite a bit. Crazy, but we're, uh, we're at about 8,000 feet elevation here, but it, we're having a good time. So yeah, we're just going to cook this all day. We're actually getting dinner ready before we're cooking breakfast this morning so uh, we're ready to go outside so we'll see you back okay here we go so like I said we're gonna start uh, this at about 400 degrees for the first hour so with the 12 inch Dutch oven I have 10 briquettes there so we'll just set that right there and get it on there Dang. I'm messing up my coals. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's get that like that. How does that look, Jenny? Good? You need to push those two underneath. Okay, I'll adjust it here in a little. And then we have some, uh, this is sweet and tart apple cider. I'm going to pour a little bit of this in here just to get some juice on the bottom. Go like that, and then put about 18 on top. So I'll just dump the rest of these on here, and then we'll let this go for an hour. Then we'll be back to change out the coals and take a look. So we'll see you back. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do the first coal change. It's been about 45 minutes. I'm not even gonna look at that. I'm gonna keep the heat in that Dutch oven. We're just gonna do the cold change really quick. But I think I'm gonna load it up and keep a good hot heat for this second, second round. So I'm just gonna put some more coals there. We'll just set that back on top. But yeah, it's snowing. <laughs> Here it is, June 22nd, first day of summer was yesterday wasn't it and uh, here we are in the snow let's load this up and then next go around we'll, t we'll take a peek at the at the pork so yeah cool we'll see you back okay we're gonna check this temperature I want to see how it's going because it's cooking pretty dang good. I, man, you can smell this, but look at all that steam coming. I just don't want to get it too hot and cook it too quick. So let's check it. It's been about 20, 25 minutes on this second batch. Mm. Yeah, it's boiling away. Let's see what it is. Because yeah, I think we might want to lower Lower it, it's like one, 105. 
because we got about six more hours we want to cook this. 110. So, what I'm going to do is we'll just put that back on. I'm just going to take off a few of those coals just to, to lower the heat a little bit. And then this third, the next time we do a coal change in about 20, 25 minutes, we'll put less briquettes on. So, yeah, it's doing good. So, we'll see you okay, back. Okay, let's do the third coal change. So, I'm going to dump all this ash off, but we're going to lower the heat a little bit. I think I'll do seven on the bottom. My gloves I took up there, huh? We'll do seven on the bottom, and then let's get rid of this ash. Come over here. Ooh. Right, that's pretty good. Look at that. Gross. Looking good. So we're lowering the heat. We'll just kind of judge it. I'm going to put my temperature probe in maybe sometime during this cycle or the, the, the next cold change. And then we're just going to dump like eight, eight or ten on top, just to keep a good slow cook. So I'll, I'll arrange those a little bit, but there, there we go. So okay, let's do this again. I think we're at a total cook time of about four and a half hours right now, but I. Took all the coals, I shook them off the lid, but check this out. I got my temperature probe, it's 195, so last time it was 189, so we've gained uh, smoke. Six degrees in an hour, so we'll just kind of keep cooking it like that. So I'll just stick with seven briquettes on the bottom, we'll sprinkle a few on top. Yeah, and then we'll see you back in another hour. Okay, uh, this has been cooking for seven hours, so we're gonna we're gonna change briquettes. I already put new briquettes on the bottom. We're gonna amp the heat up a little bit. I have ten under the bottom. It's at uh, 198, so we have seven more degrees to go. But look at that. Ooh. It's all caramel. Oh, it's looking good. I think we want to pour a little bit more juice in there. I'm gonna pour a little bit a bit more of this apple cider in here. Yummy. We'll put that back on. There we go. So we figured about eight hours. I think I'm just going to load this last thing up. I got my probe there. I'll just monitor it and see how it goes and then just go from there. So we should be good in about an hour. So see you back okay you you rolling jenny yeah you are okay cool it's been like seven hours we've had a few cold ones but we're doing good we've been cooking this since 11 a.m what time is it now oh 7 p.m that's eight hours wow okay so let's pull this lid off but look at this pork butt it's getting a little charred there oh, but... we have the apple juice and everything going there Pull this off. Uh, let me grab a fork and we'll spin this. And... Look at that. Oh my oh, goodness. Smoke. <laughs> That's pulled pork. So there we go. I think I'm going to need some help getting this out of the Dutch oven. I have a plate there, but yeah, we'll get it out of the Dutch oven and then, uh, when we get out of the Dutch oven, wow, I flipped one right up in the air. So, we'll see you back. Okay, we're having a good time. The pork butt's done. Yay! Okay. Woo! Here, so we have some sweet baby raised sauce here. I got a bun, but look at this. Yummy. Let's put some of this on here. So we cooked this for like eight hours. We just sat out there and had cold ones all day and we lit briquettes every hour. Good times. Good times cooking in the outdoors. Let's squeeze a little bit of this on there. Let's 
try it out. Yummy. Mm. There you go. Pork butt cooked in the Dutch oven. In the Uinas for eight hours. Cool. Time to have dinner. See you back.